Hi everyone, welcome to Tony Fox Tarry. Thanks for joining me today and great to have you with me. Today we're looking at pregnancy and when that's going to happen. So we'll have a look at your circumstances. How do you think and feel about the idea of becoming pregnant just at the moment? Are you in a relationship with somebody? And if you are, how do they think and feel about the idea of becoming pregnant? If you're not in a relationship, what's happening there? Are you going to be in a relationship or do you want to have a child on your own? So lots to explore there in terms of becoming pregnant, but we'll also provide a timeline in terms of a particular outcome. So specifically, a time when you will become pregnant. So lots to get into here. And before we get started, if you want to go down below and hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Please like and share this video where you can. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Now, before you're on the screen, we've got four different cards to choose from, and the idea is to choose a card that resonates with you really clearly. Once you've made that choice, that will be your reading. It's perfectly fine to choose more than one card if it comes through really strongly for you. And just remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave behind anything that doesn't. Okay, so we've got card one, card two, card three and card four. Taking a moment to be with the cards, drawing in a nice deep breath. And as you release the breath, listening to your intuition, your inner voice and the energy of the cards, which of these comes through for you the strongest? Is it card one, card two, card three or card four? Down below, there are four different timestamps representing each of these different cards. If you want to go to the one that you've chosen, I'll see you in a moment. Hi everyone, welcome to card number one. This is your reading. Let's jump in and have a look and see what's going on. We're looking at pregnancy and when that's going to happen today. So. Down here with death and the six of pentacles, I felt it was a good place to start with yourself. And I'm looking into the past here. I felt like you come through a very difficult period. Um, that you've been faced with a set of circumstances that have been really challenging. And that have taken some time to come to grips with. I, I felt this could be a, a number of different things. It could have been that you lost somebody who was close to you for some people. Um... Perhaps it's to do with pregnancy. Maybe you've had multiple attempts to become pregnant, but they failed. It could even be a miscarriage. And if it's not that, you know, perhaps it's just that it's been a really difficult run for you in terms of your life circumstances. Things have felt really challenging, very overwhelming. And at times um, they've taken you completely out of your comfort zone in a way where I feel here with the six of pentacles that you've, come to a point where you're perhaps you're reaching out to other people for support or maybe even um, looking towards some kind of professional engagement with counselling or that you're just going through some kind of big process within yourself trying to kind of find a balance as to where things are at at this particular point in time. I feel a patience coming through here. I don't feel like you're rushing through this period in a way that tries to fast track it. I, I feel like you're balancing things and coming to terms with what's going in a very kind of wholehearted way. I felt that this situation could also incorporate the idea of um, the fact that perhaps, you know, like you've really seen that life can be quite fragile or, or, or challenging in a way where it's easy to be overcome by things. You know, that circumstances can change for the worst um, and that it can cause a lot of insecurity. So the idea of finding a sense of balance by putting things into a, a, a more empowered position with security and money and, and, and material acquisition, that, that that could be a big part of your underpinning at this particular point in time in terms of having pregnancy in particular. Um <clears throat> You know, that you want to shore things up. <clears throat> Excuse me. That you want to shore things up and put things into... Uh, yeah, again, it's, it's all about balance for me. 
But I felt that this was not all negative. I felt actually, if anything, that under, underneath all of this, this was actually a very positively attuned experience because I felt like you were really working through it in a way where you stepped back into your power, took control of the situation, tipped the scales back into your own favor in a way. So it's a good place, but it's a very mindful place. And it's, it's on the other side of an experience that's been really challenging. I kind of feel like you've worked your way through grief if there was grief there, loss if, there were lo if, if, if it was about loss. You know, you, it, it, it hadn't sent you orbiting out of um, what's really important to you. I feel like you've actually stayed grounded in this particular experience. I feel like you're in a relationship. Uh, kind of coming up here to the Queen of Wands and the, the High Priestess. <clears throat> Excuse me. I felt this was a good place to reflect your partner. Looking back to the past, I feel like you're very different people. Something very unfazed about this character. Um, Happy-go-lucky, takes things as they come. <clears throat> doesn't want to be overly taxed, though. Doesn't want to take on too much in life at this particular point. I feel that they have been in a very good place for themselves, that they've been on a roll of good luck that they haven't felt that they wanted to switch things up by taking on too much of anything, whether it's work, whether it's responsibilities, whether it's domestic stuff in terms of the relationship. I don't feel that this person has been focused on the idea about having a child. I feel like their attention is drawn elsewhere. And the high priestess is a card of uncertainty about the future. I feel perhaps they just haven't felt that they could step it up in terms of the responsibilities to really support the idea of having a child in the past. <clears throat> and I, I kind of feel, I feel like this person has been in a good place in as much as they've, they've kind of enjoyed what they've been doing, maybe with their job or with their life, just in terms of circumstances. I kind of, I kind of feel like they, that they've been in a real sweet spot and changing things up by adding in certain pressures is just not what they wanted. There's been an inability in the past for them to be able to kind of really project into the future about what it is that they want. So as far as mapping out joint ideas around pregnancy, I don't feel like this person has been able to do that or to deliver it in a way that um, meets you, perhaps in terms of what you're trying to figure out. Not to say that they wouldn't be up for it if it happened. What I, what I do get about this person is they're kind of, you know, like they're very much in the moment. What will be, will be. There's something kind of fatalistic about them. You know, they'll take it on if it happens. Like, so if you, if you became pregnant, for example, they'd be on board with it. They'd be in the spirit of it. They wouldn't be resistant to it. But at the same time, you know, again, looking in the past, I really felt that their focus was in a very, very different place. Um, the content just to be in the moment, to go with the flow, to see how things roll kind of in a good place for themselves in terms of just being in a, like it's a sweet spot. This is not a driven person. This is not a, a, a person who's thinking about their career and kind of really stepping it up and, you know, going there in terms of full capacity. They're not, they're not, that, that, they're just not that person. Um, and pregnancy hasn't been a top priority for them. Coming down here to the Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles, I felt like, like for you, and this is more on the here and now. It's like you're kind of going with the flow in terms of this idea of pregnancy. It's like, you know, where it lands is where it lands. And you can see that with the eight of wands. It's very much about, you know, news coming through, going with the line of energy in terms of spirituality. It's kind of like, you know, riding on that wave of just, you know, seeing how it all rolls. Taking a leaf out of your partner's book in many ways. Um, but behind that, and what drives it is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is very much about orthodoxy and tradition and traditional values in terms of marriage and family and the institution. I felt for many of you that this could be the idea of perhaps the cultural background that you're from, you know, drives the direction of your idea of, of becoming pregnant that it waits it in a way where there is an expectation for you to be pregnant or to have have a child in a certain way that is up, brought up in, in, in certain values or under certain um, circumstances that are, uh, are about a wider agenda in terms of how you fit into 
the social social fabric of your world and your and and your I, I guess what I'm trying to say here it's about your upbringing or your conditioning right and I feel that there is a tension of opposites here it's like one part of you wants to break free of that and just to be your own person in a way where there is a lot more flexibility and openness around um you know family values perhaps of living your life in a more free form fashion but at the same time there is a uh, you know another footy in something that is very orthodox and that wants to control certain outcomes according to traditions okay so there's a lot of conditioning here and an expectation based on on social cultural background maybe some of you are also being pushed to have a child maybe the idea of of because because the one thing i don't feel here at this point in time for you if i'm looking into the past with death and the six of pentacles and again here with the hierophant and the eight of wands i don't feel like an instinctual response to become pregnant it's you're, you're much more you're quite rational and you're very much about a, a, a being to, like a tomorrow person thinking about safeguarding the future putting into place, I guess, um, certain measures that kind of safeguard you from any insecurity. So I, I think you're, you're, you're kind of all over this experience in a way that is kind of working from the outside in. And But at, at the center of, of, of your experience, I didn't feel that passion. It's not that it's not passionate. It's, it's, it's more of an instinctual urge to have a baby or a child to get pregnant it's so 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 the the reasoning for you of 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 this experience is sort of encapsulated or encased from a lot of external factors i thought um coming up here to the full and the page of cups because i think that your partner right now is in a really different place now i felt that the idea of having a child would really come sharply into focus. Page of Cups is often a child. Maybe they've had some exposure to a child in their life. Maybe they have a nephew or a niece or they know of somebody who has influenced them in a way to kind of bring this idea of having a kid into, in, in, into life. You know, the fool, it's a fresh new start, a new beginning around the idea of having a child. Um... Having a kid is now a thing for this person. And they want to, I, I felt they really felt they wanted to try for it. That They were kind of really in the spirit of, 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 of having a child. You know, this inspiration has taken over in a way where they want, they want the fun and, 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 and the, the carefreeness of a child's influence to be in their life, to be in your lives. Um, they feel uplifted by that idea. They feel uplifted by the exposure to other children. I feel like this is a, a big kid at heart, actually. I feel like there was, there was a, a childishness or a naivety about this person that was kind of very innocent. And they can get down on the level with kids. I feel like this person can engage in childlike behaviour at, at any kind of end of the spectrum, whether it's really little kids or babies up into teenage years. I just kind of feel they know how to have fun. They know how to be a little bit silly. They know how to act the fool. They know how to engage with kids in a way where they can kind of give them what they want they're a bit of a almost a bit of a performer with kids I, I i just feel like they can bounce around with them take some knocks with them take them out on a walk have fun um i, I kind of feel like i want to be in the presence of this person if i just want to goof about and and be a little bit innocent in a way that just enjoys something that is really um <clears throat> Light-hearted is what I want to say. I also felt here with the Fool and the Page of Cups that this person, this your, your partner, because I, I feel this is a relationship here. It's, it's a very, I kind of feel that this is a relationship that is free-flowing and forming through this experience of actually, you know, becoming pregnant. And I felt that this person was actually quite bohemian in, in, in many respects. Like there's something very avant-garde or... If it's not that, it's 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 just very non-conventional, like free spirited, you know, like there's something really chill and loose about this person. I felt that this was really important because they didn't want to have a child in a way where you had to sort of 
fit yourselves around the life of the child, that they actually wanted to have a child where the child fit into your lives and that you maintained freedom and your ability to be able to make things up as you went along, that they didn't want to kind of shove it into some, when I say shove it, I mean shove this experience of having a child or being a family into some box that was conventional. Um, you know, they want to try for a child, but they want to have a child with the understanding that things can be fun and carefree and lighthearted and that we don't have to buy into this whole conventional sort of heavy experience where, you know, it's, it's, it's us and a child and, and living out this family nucleus. I've, I felt that, that your partner was very spiritually attuned to the idea of having a child at the moment and that they were very inspired to do this and that they didn't want to take a, a conventional approach. And I just don't feel that this person would be that person anyway. They're not, they're, there's nothing conventional about them. And I felt that the influence of your partner was really pivotal in terms of where you were at at this particular point in your own timeline as a person. Like, you know, from a developmental point of view... I just felt that you were trying to break free of the chains of conventional thinking or living. So here's the big question. When are you going to get pregnant? I thought it was four months time. It's very close. It's just around the corner. And I felt that the next four months were really important in terms of this process, because I feel that the both of you, if we come over here to the magician and the four of wands is like you're moving into a very magical time quite literally here with the magician but it's also this, this this feeling of opportunity opening up in a way where there's something very natural about the fertility and the receptivity between you and your partner i just feel like it's fertile ground from here on it's like you know falling pregnant is going to be right here on the cusp and, and i felt that it would be a really easy pregnancy in terms of falling pregnant very quickly and then just kind of shooting straight into this experience that was straightforward, easygoing by the book in terms of um, the process of, 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 of growing through pregnancy. So I feel an ease here. It's four months time, fertile ground, becoming pregnant. And then I also felt that the two of you were really on the same page in terms of feeling aligned with each other. You know, um, that the relationship just hits this really solid point where the two of you are really clear about what you want. And, and because of that, because of that sense of purpose, that sense of clarity, the sense of openness towards having a child, it just, it just opens up very quickly into this experience that is supported by an intuitive and very holistic approach to having a child, I felt that you would really go down this path of doing a very natural childbirth. You know, maybe that's about having your child at home or doing a water birth or doing some kind of, I guess, um, approach that really underpinned uh, the experience in a way that just kept it spiritual and, 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 and grounded in a real life earthly experience that was just all natural that's that's how i really felt so i felt the pregnancy would be really flawless i didn't feel any any restrictions there no no inhibitions no problems it was just kind of and, and also the pregnancy in terms of going into into labor i thought this was really quick you know like it happened really quickly but the birth was really quick and i I just, I don't get any resistance here. I feel like this child is ready to come into this world in a way where, where it moves very quickly, very easily. Um, what I like about these two cards, the Magician and the Four of Wands, I felt very strongly here that it is through this experience of having a child that it brings you and your partner very close together and it opens up your understanding as to how your, your partner sees the world and you get to experience that firsthand by just attuning to he, him, them, they, her, whoever it's going to be. I felt like you would really attune to this person and it would just put the relationship on a really sure footing because you'll understand that your partner, even though they're really different to you, that they've actually, like their view on life is valid. Their approach is something that you can learn from. And I feel that you do take that on in a way where you do learn from it and you assimilate it into your world in a way where it helps you to break free of all of this orthodoxy that I was talking about. It helps you to break free and to become more natural. And the child 
birth, but the pregnancy as well. It's, it's, it's sort of really, it, it encapsulates that. It symbolizes that. It supports that. Really lovely stuff. So four months time up here to the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups. And I felt this was really important because your partner will en enter into a new phase with this particular experience. So looking to the future in terms of an outcome from their perspective, it's like they really step up in terms of a new era of responsibility. You can see here with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups that they're looking at the idea that life is fragile. It's like they come to this realization that everything can spin on a dime. And they step up to really become a responsible, committed protector and provider and guardian. It's not to say that they're not that person now, but I, I, I just feel that the idea of the child is one thing, but the reality of, of, of this child coming into the world really helps them to grow up and to assume a responsibility that is really, um, again, very holistic and wholehearted in terms of the commitment. And I felt that they would really grow in their love for you in a way that I, I, I don't want this to sound corny, but it just I just feel the depth of their experience of understanding what they're capable of giving you and your family is next level stuff. So I, I kind of just feel like it's a change for the better in terms of their own development, but also for the development of your relationship. And, and, and at the same time, I don't feel for one moment that they're actually stepping away from the true essence of who it is they are per, as a person. You know, they're still going with the flow. Um, but it's the recognition that they need to take on more responsibility and become a person who is more instrumental and, and pivotal to safeguard this new life that comes into the world. And in many ways, it's quite poetic because I feel like you, the both of you have this very strong soulmate connection in terms of the connection that you have, obviously. I, I, I just, I felt that you were here to teach them and they were here to teach you and that you were there to assimilate the different perspectives in terms of what you both had to give to this relationship, but it was through the birth of this particular child where this really came to light, that it came to full fruition. And that from this experience, you would learn to live and work together in a way that got the best from those different experiences. In many ways, this person is stepping into conventionalism as you are stepping away from it, but you're bringing back from each other's experience the best of both worlds in a way that will support yourselves as a family, but also this child into the future. Look, I hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. Thanks very much and take care. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, welcome to card number two. This is your reading and so today we're looking at when you are going to get pregnant. So let's jump in and find out when that's going to be. Now I'm going to start up here with, actually no, down here with the hangman and the ace of wands. A really good place to start with yourself and it's very much in the present, the now. I get this strong feeling through these cards here that you're very pulled back from the idea of having a child right now. So I, I, I feel there are other priorities in your world that supersede um, the idea of having a child, that you're not ready. I don't feel any nurturing, instinctual energy coming through here that says that biologically you're kind of driven to do this at this time. Um, I get a lot of strong, very... Like, like it's, it's, it's determination here that comes through very strongly for me. Um, I think by nature, you are somebody who is very certain in terms of what it is that you want. Um, and when you know what it is that you want, you really hold to it. Um, and, and I feel that what you want is something very different to, 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 um, to, to the idea of pregnancy just now. It's not to say that you don't want pregnancy in terms of the, to of the totality of your, of your world, but 
I just felt that there are other opportunities that are actually either in front of you or that you're considering that really take precedence over the idea of having a child. So, so sacrificing time and energy and the devotion to a child just now, I don't feel that that's what you're really all about. The Hangman is very much about a card of self-reflection. It's about holding back. There's a lot of creative energy surging up from a very deep and spiritual place in many ways. Um, and it's paired here with the Ace of Wands, which is about opportunity, creative opportunity. Often it's very specific around work ideas or work opportunities. And I feel that your focus is very much on initiating something that's very important to you, something that's very considered about who it is that you are. And I felt for many of you that this, this was about a work opportunity or your career. Could also be to do with something creative, like quite literally. You know, the hangman often reflects um, the idea of artistry and creative endeavors. And the Ace of Wands is certainly a card that punches that out in a very uh, dynamic way. There's a lot of energy here in the Ace of Wands. So I, I kind of feel like you're sitting on something. It's gestating. It's um, nurturing in a different way than having a child. And it's not to say that you're not going to be pregnant or that you're not going to have children. I just feel that you're pulling back and that you have different priorities. And you have a unique perspective on the idea about what it means to have a child. Um, I just don't feel that you want to sacrifice everything that you're all about in terms of your personal identity just now. And if we come up here to the death and queen of pentacles, I definitely feel like you're in a relationship here. I feel like this is a solid relationship. I feel like there's a lot of water under the bridge in terms of, you know, just experiences, um, a lot of grounding here. <clears throat> I feel like your partner is a very different person to who it is that you are. I feel a lot of pressure coming through here from your partner about the idea, excuse me, <clears throat> about the idea of having a child. Here I certainly get a lot of nurturing energy coming through. I feel like your partner is somebody who is very protective and nurturing at all costs, really looks out for you, really looks out for the totality of your life as well in terms of um, the nurturing energy that goes into the creature comforts of life. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is very much about Nurturing the idea of children, but it's nurturing the home, nurturing security, um, you, you know, really establishing a base of comfort, of abundance in a way that really um, safeguards the idea of what it means to have a family or a home. And I, I felt that, you know, in, in, in the face of death, you know, like this, this person takes that on really seriously. Like it's they, they really feel that it's their their role to look out for you in particular, but also to look out for the idea of what it means to have a family. Um, I feel like this person really is very devoted to you. Um, it's That kind of almost puts you on a pedestal in some ways. They behold you um, in, a, in a way that can be difficult for you, I think. I think, I think at times it can make you feel sensitive to the idea that you, you you might fail their expectations or that 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 maybe they, they they think that you're more than you really are not to say that that's the case at all but I, I felt that your partner this other person had been going through a very difficult time that they had maybe they had lost somebody here with death maybe they'd lost somebody very close to them who was very important to them in terms of their upbringing or somebody who just really was a very strong backbone to their world somebody quite pivotal somebody that they looked to i felt for many of you that that, that could definitely be the case that um if it wasn't that i i just feel like maybe this person's been going through a really difficult time and and, and sort of facing themselves about what life's all about and that could be to do with mortality, you know, um, you know, maybe the, the, the idea that we aren't here for a long time um, and that this is something that they really want to do in terms of having a child. So I, I certainly felt that they had come to this almost like a brink of saying, look, I really want to have a child now, you know, and I felt a lot of pressure was coming down to you about this. Um, I feel like this person's putting it on the line 
telling you that this is what they really want and that they have this nurturing energy that they've been building towards for a really long time. And so they want to kind of plant that seed in a way that, you know, orbits around that whole concept of, 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 of family life, of having a child at the centre of your home. And, and so, so it also could be to do, to, to do to, with honouring this person for some of you that, that, that this person may have lost or in memory of somebody. Um, you know, the, the idea of lineage and wanting to pass something on in a way that kind of just feels like you're anchored in this earth so that if you passed away yourself, you know, there would be something to show of who it is that you are. You know, it's very, very wrapped up in almost an egotistical um, idea, but not not in a in, in a sort of crass way. It's, it's, it's more just kind of wanting to leave something like a legacy behind in life, definitely. Um, but they're very much about establishing a groundwork that, that, that is very protective and nurturing at all costs. I, I felt like this is somebody who would also put a child on a pedestal, you know, treat them like a future king or queen. You know, they really want the best for a child. Uh, devoted definitely and um, I just but what I wanted to say was I felt a heaviness coming through here for you I feel like there's a lot to deal with because I don't feel like you're on the same page here I think you are on ter in terms of maybe the idea of having a child in the future I feel like you're holding back though for yourself if we come down here to the Emperor and the Eight of Wands I feel for you if I look back more historically, I, I, I feel that you are a really ambitious person. You know, the Emperor is a, you know, like a really charged car with warrior-like warrior energy. You know, like it's really fighting to achieve and accomplish in, in a way that is just part of who it is that you are, really. I think that you are somebody who likes to take control of a situation. I think you like to make sense of things in a way that unfolds a vision. Um, I think you like to wear the boots. I think, I, I actually think for you, you, you're the one who has the final say here as well. I can see that here with the hangman and the ace of wands, the fact that you've pulled back, despite how it is that your partner really feels. It's like you're sort of saying, you're saying, no, this is not time for me. And despite the pressure, which is a lot um, that you're putting on me, I have to prioritize other things because my energy is not infinite, yeah? Sorry, my energy is infinite. It's, it's, it's you know, like, so, so, so I have to be selective about where I choose to focus this energy at this particular time. When we come back here into the past, I think you've really wanted to get your teeth into something more in terms of the direction of your, I would have said professional life for a lot of you. I think the career aspect is very strong in this reading for you. You can see that with all of the wands, which are very work-like cards, you know, they're, they're often reflective of career and the energy that you're putting into your path to forge ahead skills and experiences. And the emperor really drives this energy in a way that is strongly ambitious. I think that whatever it is you're choosing to do to prioritize here, <clears throat> um, it's because you know that it's the best thing for you you know, like it's a reflection of who it is that you are as a person, that you're not prepared to give over into this wider experience that makes sacrifices for other people, whether it be your partner or for a child. Um, I think it's very much about the direction that you're heading in and wanting to kind of ground that into something that really comes to light with here at the Ace of Wands. I think you're sort of saying, like, I want to bounce... Um, I want to bounce the opportunities that are before me into reality, into manifestation in a way that, that, that really lives up to my, my greatest capacity. And I've got a lot of energy to put into this and I need to put it into that to become the success that I really want to be. I think without that, you're quite aimless. You're flapping in the wind. Um, a, a big part of you is wrapped up in being this person. There is an influence here, though. You can see that here with the eight of wands which is a card of energy coming through it's very spiritual spiritual like but it's also about messages you know um i feel like there are messages that are swaying you that are testing you there is an influence of energy whether that be from your partner whether that be maybe from your, your own family i mean the emperor can be often be a paternal line so maybe your own father or somebody who you look up to who's very important to you um this idea about where where is it all going in terms of parenthood? You know, I, I kind of feel like there's a strong influence that is pushing you towards this idea of, of, of pregnancy, definitely. Um, 
up here to the magician and the four of wands back to your partner looking to the past i felt that this is somebody who had made it known from the beginning from the outset what they really wanted I think they've had it all on the table. You can see that here with the magician. It's like, yes, let's get into this relationship. Let's strike it into action. Here's what I'm all about. It's all on the table. And I think the two of you have hit the ground running in terms of a, an alliance, you know, like a, a, a relationship that is built on a lot of ease. I don't feel like you've had to try too hard with each other. I think you've complimented each other in a way that has really been very bountiful in terms of what you've achieved. I feel like you've both accomplished an enormous amount within your careers and within your personal life to achieve um, a lot of security and really sort of mature outcomes in terms of either your work related focus or, or, or whether it might be study or whatever it is that you've actually manifested within the world that is about the both of you. I just, I kind of felt here with the four of wands, it's like you know, the garland really reflects this idea of, of, of like a, a bounty that has been plundered between the both of you. I feel like your partner has been a very strong initiator of a lot of the achievements that have, have kind of come before you and which you both exploited for good reason. Um, I feel a lot of what you've actually achieved together has been putting down the foundation of the relationship. Maybe you bought a house together or putting down a deposit on a house or establishing some kind of a a home or just really kind of putting things away that really uh, binds the two of you together in terms of feeling like you're you know achieving stuff you know like we, the thing is the two of you independently are very strong by nature the magician here with your partner is somebody who definitely knows how to independently support themselves but to initiate you know a, a life path for other people and a reflection of that with yourself here with the emperor i think you know you're you're you know within your own right you are very similar in many ways you're a very strong individual who is empowered to achieve and, and i feel feel like that the, 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 the these two energies coming together um achieve an enormous amount but there's quite a lot of complexity based on the fact that you're both quite strong-willed people your partner has this stubbornness about this idea about pregnancy they don't want to let go of that issue or that that subject or that 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 concept in a way where <clears throat> there's a determination to, to to really unfold that and then on the other hand there's you sort of you know equally as stubborn digging your heels in and saying no hang on a second you know there are other considerations here that really mean i need to uh, figure this out in greater depth and i think because you're very honest with each other and very honest about who you are to yourselves it's not easy to be swayed and and, and manipulated into a situation that you know is not what you either want or what is good for you essentially so I, I feel like your partner gives an enormous amount. I think that can be really difficult to deal with because they do have this really strong, loving intent. You know, their, their, their motivations are from a very good place. They would never want to do anything that actually sways you in the wrong direction. Um, <clears throat> and, and, I, and I think because you've, you, you've shared a lot of experiences that have really um, shown the success of their influence, at the, same, at the same time, you have to stay as, as an individual within yourself to know what's best for you, if that makes sense. So where's this all going? Okay, so I think this is quite an interesting read. If I come over here to the lovers and the three of wands, I felt that in one year's time you would become pregnant. But I felt like it was almost like a negotiation to get to that particular point that the two of you in terms of the relationship would make a joint decision that actually allowed you to have more time to continue on with your work-related focus or this creative endeavor that you actually have. Um, and that you would essentially step aside and, 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 and allow some more time for you to gestate or, or, or unfold your, your journey as an independent person within the relationship. Um, and, and, I, and I felt almost, again, it's like a negotiation that in, in one year's time, then you would become pregnant. 
but that you would then also step aside and continue on. You can see that here with the Three of Wands, that you would continue on with the work that you're doing. So you will essentially take hold of the career opportunities that are in front of you, the creative opportunities that are in front of you to unfold those in a way where that continues to take off and to open up into new horizons. I felt for you, parenthood was really important and it was a big consideration in light of the relationship. And I feel that it is also something that you want to unfold in terms of a timeline it's not so much of a biological drive, but it is something that you will actually agree to do in a way that actually makes the both of you happy. That you're giving your partner a part of what it is they want. You're fulfilling something that you want in terms of the bigger picture, but that you maintain a really important focus on things that are really important to you as a person. So I feel like that would be a joint decision and that you would negotiate that and that the workload, therefore, would kind of fall to your partner in a way where they would become maybe the primary carer and that you would continue on to sort of maybe be the primary income earner or the, the breadwinner of the family, definitely. Not to say that your partner doesn't have that capacity, but it's about the freedom to be this person within your own right and not to fall into some kind of nurturing stereotype that means that you have to sacrifice everything to a child. That's what this is about. I felt that this would be the first of three children. If it wasn't the first, it was one of three children. Okay, I feel like the child pregnant, like so the pregnancy into childbirth, I felt the pregnancy would be very straightforward and it would go by the book. And I felt that there would be almost like a specific date that you would have this child by. And it could be that you're putting a date into the die for a cesarean for some of you, because I felt there was an efficiency here. There was a play of time that reflected almost like a diary it's like you know you've got a full agenda coming up over the next year in terms of work related activities that really need to be kind of neatly secured or or responsibly um maintained in a way that you know continues to sort of open up you know the opportunity that actually uh, relates to that particular work so so Lots going on there. I feel up here with the tower and the six of wands. I feel, I actually feel like initially your partner's going to be really gutted about the idea of not having a child right now. And I feel there will be some sort of a breakdown in communication or a breakdown within the relationship that gets really tricky to navigate. Um, however, I don't, feel that that is something that will actually conclude the relationship It's something that you both successfully navigate and that through this process of your partner understanding that your work is really important to you I felt that you would resolve outstanding issues that would lead to a success of them getting what it is that they want in the longer term that they would have to patiently wait for that whilst giving you the support that you needed so that you could continue on to um, achieve what you really wanted to achieve and I felt that they would see the light and find their feet and get back on track as a consequence. So I kind of feel like it will be a bumpy ride when you actually firm up the decision making process to, um, to, to do this. But essentially, in the longer run, I felt that your partner would be on board with this and that you would both get what it is that you really want here. Look, I hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. Plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Everyone, welcome to card number three. This is your reading, and today we're looking at what's going on with pregnancy. When's that going to happen? So let's jump in and have a look and see what's happening for you. I'm going to start down here with the Devil and the Three of Wands, and I felt this is a good place to start with yourself. And we're looking into the past. I feel that there has been a relationship in the past, one that's been quite 
definitive for you in a very positive and a very negative way. I feel that this relationship had a lot of complexity, maybe even some toxicity for some of you. I feel like this person's influence was quite negative and uh, restrictive in terms of being able to get to where you really want to get to in life as far as pregnancy is concerned. Um, I don't feel like this person's been on the same page as you. They haven't shared the same vision that you've had for the future with pregnancy, but also in terms of a relationship. I don't feel like there was any sharing going on in any, in, in any capacity with any of that. Um, you know, perhaps this person's led you on and, and been behind that vision in some way, but then either pulled back or their actions have spoken very differently as to what it was they were actually telling you that um, was possible. And I feel that this relationship just got to a point where you realise you had to step up and step out. I feel like you left on your own terms and, and your own conditions. I, for me, I feel come over, coming over here to light in the unexpected, I, I feel like there's been like an epiphany moment here. You know, the light bulb is switched on and you've just really had an insight into what's going on in terms of the dynamics between the both of you. And that it was bigger than that. It was about you and what you wanted. Um, it's, it's knowing that you're better than what you've been experiencing. Knowing that you don't want to be second best. Knowing that you want to be put first. Um, and I feel like you've moved on from this relationship and you've put a lot of distance between you and this person. And I, I felt for some of you, maybe that was very conscious like you've you know like you've blocked them on social media or you stopped taking messages or you maybe you've even moved away you know like I, just, I kind of feel like maybe there's there's almost like an extreme response to this person and their influence and the the lie that you've drawn in terms of a boundary I, I, I kind of feel like you've just said look no I've had enough of this I don't want to be subject subjected to any kind of um reminders or or to kind of give them the, the satisfaction of having anything to do with me anymore. I think it's, it's been quite sort of big for you. And I, I feel like you've, you've seen through this experience, like the, the, the vision that you really want above and beyond that particular relationship. Um, that you want to have a, a, a child, but that you want to share something with somebody at a much deeper level in a way where you can trust them. I don't feel like you could trust this person. I feel like whatever it is that happened in the end, it just, it was defining. It's like, well, you know, you're not on board with me and you're not on board with us and you're not on board with where this was supposed to be going. And um, so, so you've taken matters into your own hands. And I think, you know, what I'm trying to say here is that you, you don't want to be around people who don't want the same thing as you. It's quite simple on one level, but it's it's big on another because it just really helps you to understand where you're going. You come up here to the star and Ace of Pent uh, sorry, Ace of Wands. I feel feel like, you know, like you just you, you've moved on from that relationship in a big step, you know, with a big step forward. Um I feel like you put yourself out. You can see here with the star, you know, you, you're working towards your hopes and your dreams. You're putting yourself out there in a way that says, you know, this is what I want. It's very clear. I have a vision and I need to start taking measures that actually initiate that opportunity to really get close to igniting what it is that I want. So the Ace of Wands is very much about wanting to start a new beginning, to ignite the, the vision of your hopes and your dreams. And I feel like you put yourself out there. You know, maybe that's to do with looking for a new relationship or at the very least working towards some kind of vision that supports a life that is about um, having a child and becoming pregnant and being in a relationship with somebody. I think that there's been a, a, a real gear change in terms of the, the self-speak you know, the conversations that you have internally have been very much um, positively inspired. You know, maybe a lot of positive talking, um, a lot of active 
engagement at a very meditative uh, level, but really tries to bring in, you know, the, 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 the opportunities that actually fall in line with what you want in your life. And I felt that you've been very wholehearted about this. It's like, you know, you, you've seen what you want and, and, and then, you know, you feel that wholeheartedly. And, and so it's a part of it, what I'm, what I'm trying to describe is that you started to live that experience and it's taking you, you into a very new dimension that has put you out there, testing the waters, seeing what, maybe that's about getting on to, um, you know, onto, onto apps that actually are about finding a partner or going out socially and, and seeing what's out there, um, you know, just put, or, or at the very least, just putting feelers out to see what is possible. And I think that it's bigger than that. I feel like you have engaged with different types of opportunities at a creative level, maybe with work or maybe some kind of project or something that is very creative and personal in terms of just finding fulfillment in other pursuits that give you a support to move closer to what you want in terms of, uh, a more, I would have said a more wholesome and holistic um, connection to life and people. <clears throat> um, I feel like this has been very upbeat and that you've really put yourself out there. But if we come over here to Judgment and the Four of Swords, I feel at the moment things have paused. I feel like perhaps you're faltering a little bit. You're second guessing where this is all going. Uh, you know, the swords reflect on the past, maybe issues around the idea of a relationship are uh, starting to arise, feeling perhaps that you're not destined to meet somebody who can give you what it is that you really want. I, I really felt here with Judgment and the Four of Swords that, you know, it's like it's like you you have put yourself out there, but you've seen what's on offer and it hasn't really fulfilled you in a way that stacks up to your expectations or delivers in some kind of opportunity that really gives you confidence that... Um, you're making inroads to, to, towards this idea of pregnancy. I felt there was a lack of activity uh, that maybe you'd even given up on some levels, um, that you'd stepped back from this idea of putting yourself out there. And it's really sort of brought up the big questions. You know, judgment is really getting down into the meat of it. You know, it's really gnawing on it in a way that says, you know, like, where's this all going? You know, is it going to happen? What do, I, what do I really need to do to make this into a reality? And the four of swords is, you know, like deeply reflective within that experience. I think you're really going down into it in a way where you're taking this very seriously. Maybe, maybe a little bit too hard on yourself, definitely. Um, I get an authenticity that's coming through here. I think that you've had enough of playing the game. You've had enough of people who mess you about. I think you know what it is that you want. You want that now. You see what you want but you can't see anybody to have that with. And that at this particular point in time, I think your energy has been drained a little bit because you've had this outburst of energy, this initiation of a vision. And, you know, like you just haven't got any bounce back of that in a way that gives you confidence. And so I feel that you are at this point, not just reflecting on what's going on. Maybe you're praying, praying actively, you know, to the universe, to God, to some kind of focal point that really sort of puts it out there and says, you know, like, you know, like I really want to meet somebody. I want to have a child, you know, um, can anybody hear me? Can anybody answer my prayers? Maybe it's a meditative process for some of you, you know, that you're really taking this idea of pregnancy and meeting somebody into meditation and just really trying to sift it down and find your truths within this experience. Um, I, I, I really feel here it's sort of the potential to go one way or the other. And that you're sort of erring on the side of negativity and that you're feeling very heavy hearted about what's going on. So what's happening here, down here to shift the way to new potential, this is a really positive underpinning in terms of your greatest potential to find what is it you really want. The reality is, is that you have the ability to tune into perspective and to use a creative force, a dynamic force that's within you to get yourself out of situations that you don't like and to align yourself to a vision that you do want. And that happened with this previous relationship. 
And maybe it's happened with multiple relationships. I think you are being very hard on yourself. I think you've actually come a long way to where it was that you were before. Um, it's important to remember that you need to vibe into the totality of what you're actually aiming at here. In isolation, a few knockbacks, you know, a lull, energetically speaking, it's, it's okay. You know, this is the, you're bigger than this and the experience that you're looking for is bigger than this. Don't think small. And don't, don't fall so easily into the negative speak. That's, that's way too convenient. Like, you know, you've got a challenge in front of you and it's really important to remember that you're bringing new potential just by thinking it and acting on it and believing in it. You know, you have to um, change up the perspective and self-talk yourself back into order here. There's only one way, and that's up. Going downwards and spiraling back into uh, a negative understanding as to where this is all going, giving up on your hopes, your dreams, that's not you. It's okay to have a lapse in judgment, to make some mistakes, to get a few challenges that feel like they're overwhelming. That's a whole part of it. You know, if we come up here to the moon and the three of pentacles, it's really important to remember moving forward that... Sometimes, you know, things don't feel right. Sometimes, sometimes there is anxiety. Sometimes there is depression. Sometimes there is a sense that there is foreboding. Um, worry is a part of an instrument that is holistically an underpinning to your instinctual process. Trust your instincts. The time right now is to take a step back and consolidate and to rest and to not push so hard sometimes you've got to let this experience come to you you don't need to be chasing it 24 7 it's okay you've actually put it out there you've already sent the message out into the universe and you need to trust in that in a way that is consolidated and that has conviction and that stays true to yourself so let things sift down a little bit. I really feel here for you projecting into the into the future. This is a longer term process that's not about tomorrow. Okay, the next three years here are going to be really important to you. I feel that there are some landmark accomplish, accomplishments that need to be uh, fulfilled that underpin the basis of a life for a relationship and to become pregnant. I felt that it's really important to remember that you're working towards the big picture here. I feel that year one will bring you close to your work and career objectives and that year two was very much about finding a relationship that gave you a sense of certainty and security within yourself about being in love and being with the right person. And that through that process of that first year, it would take you into the third year where you're in a really solid place in terms of the relationship and that this is where pregnancy will happen. I think it'll actually be quite quick within the relationship. So after the first year, so we're talking year three, I feel like you'll become pregnant. This person coming into your life, if you come down here to Will of Fortune and the King of Pentacles, I felt that your partner was going to bring something that's actually really quite amazing into your world. I felt that this person had a belief in you from day one that saw who it was that you were, understood the difficult journey that you'd come through to get to this particular point. They were incredibly supportive. I felt that this person was affluent and that they had a very um, secure background that gave them security from a financial point of, point of view. I felt that they had money to burn and that it's not about the fact that they've actually got money or that they're in, in some sort of employment that actually pays them really well, but I just felt that there was a basis, basis of an affluent life together. It's a combination of many different factors for me. I feel, feel that this person brings in abundance to, to your world in a way where you never have to worry again. It's like the small things in life, um, you know, all of a sudden you don't have to sweat that anymore. 
you can think about the big picture and you can take a step back and you just don't have to worry about it like you used to. I felt that this partner was really supportive and wanted you to have it all, you know, that they would spoil you. Um, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that this is a relationship that will bring money and that will bring certainty and it will bring material um, comfort that allows you just to take a step back. And it's, it's almost like you don't ever have to worry again. So I, I kind of feel that where this is going is, 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 is big. It feels really big for you. And I felt that moving into this relationship, it, it, it sort of it immediately hits this, this, this abundance, this affluence, this, and it's not just about the money. It's not just about the security. It's about this person's belief in you. It's about the fertility that they bring into your world in terms of your ability to be able to settle straight into a relationship and settle straight into the idea of having a child. You know, so three years, I feel in three years time, you'll become pregnant. In two years time, you will have met this person and you'll be in a relationship and the basis of that relationship will seed and become secure very quickly. But I felt, yeah, for the first year, and that's this next year onwards, there's a lot of work for you to do with yourself in terms of your work, your career. And you can see that here with the three of wands and the ace of wands. I feel, I feel like work is unfolding for you, that your ambition to expand your horizons in terms of the work that you're doing, maybe to, to seize new opportunities that are in front of you or to see new opportunities that are very much about your creative vision about your, um, your career tra trajectory are uh, a part of what is unfolding for you right now. And if we come back here to judgment and the four of swords, you know, I, I do feel like right now for you, it's a consolidation process of letting everything go and letting it sift down. Because to be honest with you, I think for a person like you, I think you're quite spiritually led and that you do have a very strong intuition. You, 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 you need to know it at, at a core level. You know, you need to know that what you're doing is right, that you've made the right decisions, that you feel that you're on track, that you are solid in your process of understanding. I think perhaps down here with the devil and the three of wands, you know, perhaps actually getting out of the relationship, I think there was a, a, a almost like a reactive aspect to that that was catalytic, that actually shot you in a, in a very different direction in your world. Um... So maybe there's some more that needs to be sifted down there in terms of really understanding the truth of where you're at and the truth of that person and the truth of the relationship that you had. The ability to completely let go so that you can pave forward a new beginning or a future that is clear of the past. You know, it's, it's, it's about totally letting go so that you can welcome the future in, in a way where you are trusting that you are building towards what it is that you really want. I feel that you actually know that that's what you're doing and that um, this relationship here in the future, it's going to be an incredibly supportive relationship that will afford you different opportunities in life that you can't anticipate right now. And I felt that this would be a very enriching pre en enriching pregnancy, but also an incredibly enriching relationship and a, and a life that would afford you to see a very different perspective in life. Look, I hope this reading has made some sense to you. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. Plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Hi everyone, welcome to card number four. This is your reading and today we're looking at pregnancy. So when is this going to happen? Let's jump in and have a look and see what's happening. So down here with strength and the two of pentacles, great place to start with yourself and it's very much in the here and now. And I feel like now is the time to get pregnant really. Um, everything kind of points to that in a very dynamic way. I think within yourself you feel very attuned to the idea of becoming pregnant that Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, it's all right there in a primed way. I feel like your vitality is very strong. 
and that you know that you're just on the brink of it happening. I felt you were in a really good place for yourself personally. It's like everything seems to, to be in balance. Um, I feel like everything is in order, everything is in place, everything feels attuned. It just, it kind of feels like you're synced in to becoming pregnant in a way that uh, it's just very natural, that you wouldn't have to try, that it's the next step. I feel like you're pulling back from it slightly. Strength is definitely a card of health, but it's also a card of restricting flow, um, finally attuning to the idea of pregnancy really is what strength is saying. Um, but it's animalistic at the same time. You know, there's a physicality to strength that really says, you know, I'm, I'm in touch, I'm, I'm, I'm primed, I'm spiritually aware at a level that really brings this into an order of sense um, without having to rationalise it. I feel that it's more than that. I think you've also been looking at the financial aspect of where things are at at this point in time, and you can see that there is a lot of security that is beneath you and supportive of the idea of becoming pregnant. I feel like you're in a relationship with somebody, definitely. I feel, feel like you've really been considering them. But I think that you feel also that they're ready, that the both of you can come together on this in a way where you can really make it happen. There's a lot of balance at the basis of this idea. Um, a lot of balance at the basis of your of your life. I feel like you know that this can happen at any time. That's the thing for me. It's like really on the brink of it. It just feels fertile, ready to pop. It's it's, but but it's more than that because it's like there's there's health and vitality here in a way where it just feels yeah receptive to that idea in a way that just is is just like it's just the next step really. Coming up here to Judgment and the Three of Pentacles, I felt like it was a good place to start in the here and now with your partner. They're under a lot of pressure, a lot of demands around them. I feel like they're also saying something quite the opposite to you, that they're unable to deliver this idea of becoming pregnant just at this time. Um, they are building towards it. You know, like if you really pin them down with Judgment here, you, know, you really get them to give you the big answers on where this is going if you're pulling out the big guns to really kind of put them on the spot to really find an understanding as to where it's really going with them they're, they're definitely saying yes here with the three of pentacles i'm on board with this you know but the basis of becoming pregnant needs more work needs more security and also this person is preoccupied with with other things, you know, maybe that's to do with their work, you know, the kind of work that they're doing. Maybe they've got some really full on stuff going with, with their career or some kind of project that they're leading on. I feel this is somebody who's very serious, who really takes the idea of becoming pregnant um, to heart in a way where they want to be able to support and deliver the, 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 the financial and security underpinnings of a world that really give you everything that you need to make this happen with confidence. Um, I feel like they've begun something that they haven't been able to finish and that at this point in time that continues on in a way where they're, la they're lacking or, or that they have an inability to be able to fully engage with you about becoming pregnant. I feel like you're on very different pages. I think for you, it's a, a, a very intuitive, very spiritual, very physical experience right now that just says yes. But if you actually put this person on the spot, your partner on the spot, they're saying yes, but they're not saying yes today. They're saying yes tomorrow. Um, and they're building towards something else. So they're not at the center of the experience in the same way that you're, that you're at. So you're not on the same page from that pers perspective. I feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on them. You're clamping down the thumb screws in a way where you're trying to get answers. I feel at times this person is so immersed in their work, so immersed in their preoccupations that they can't give you the, those answers. That when they do give you those answers, they seem to be in such a different place that you think maybe they've gone off script maybe that they're working or building towards a different agenda. 
And I think that the, it puts a lot of pressure on them necessarily. If you come over here to Devil and the seven, sorry, the eight of Pentacles, I feel like right from the start that this person has had a lot of limitations around this idea of becoming pregnant. They've they've seen where this is going on one level, but on another level, they're they're they're, they're heading in a very different direction. It's like they're saying yes, but they're saying no. I feel that their heart, straight from the outstart, has not been fully in the idea of becoming pregnant, that they haven't felt it from a more physiological, biological, um, dynamic experience that really just kind of wants to un unfold something that's very natural. I feel that they have just not been in the heart of it and that this has been a great source of tension in the relationship. It's been a great source of tension for them. I feel like this is somebody who buries their head in the sand when it becomes too difficult to deal with, whether it's this particular subject or anything else, that they immerse themselves in work in a way where it becomes quite detrimental to the issues at hand, that at times there, there is something a little bit almost like workaholic about this, this person. It, it, it's, it's like... They, they kind of jump into that experience in a way where it becomes a fully immersive experience and there's no room for anything else. And I think that that can be quite damaging in some ways to them because it just limits their ability to engage with you and to have a more balanced, more in the moment relationship that attunes to an experience that actually should be coming out of love. I think this person gets very in their head and very worried about money and security. You can see that here with the pentacle all the way through their timeline. They're preoccupied with building towards um, aims and objectives that are about giving a basis to an idea that is for tomorrow as opposed to today. So they're not living in the moment on that level. You know, they're, they're kind of working towards a framework of an idea that is about building towards something in the future as opposed to right now. I think that this person could very much be preoccupied by the facts and the figures in a way where they've become overly analytical. Um, and so I feel that the relationship hasn't been a great place and that they haven't been able to make sense of what's going on at a deeper heartfelt level. That's what I'm trying to say to you because I think that they're feeling the pressure now. I feel like they're feeling the pressure now that they know that they have to come up with answers, but that they know that the answers that they have got and that they have had continue be, to be answers that aren't going to make sense to you, that aren't going to fully resonate in a way that makes you happy or that gives you what you really want. I feel like this person is a little bit scared about making this commitment. Again, saying yes, but saying no. Um, working towards it, but hiding away from it and burying their head in the sand when they're really brought to account as to whether this is what they really want and whether they can really deliver it. So there's a lot going on here. And I felt that for this person, the source of antagonism, the source or the seed of, of, of aggravation is, is very much around money and security. You know, the pentacles are a really strong suit for, for, for finances. I felt that this person never really feels that they've got enough financial support, financial clout, financial buying power to, power to, um, to support this particular objective or any other objective for that matter, that they are always working towards having more than they probably really need. Um, it's, it's almost like a poverty consciousness on, some, on some, some levels. And I feel that the insecurity is born within themselves, that they're worried that they won't be able to deliver what, it's, what it really takes on that level. Um, so they overcompensate and they try really, really hard. I, I felt this was like a professional person, and like very, very much a, a professional who really digs into the work that they're doing in a way where they do enjoy it, but you know, like it becomes like a totality of experience. And so it squeezes you out of the picture in a way where if you come down here to the hangman and the page of swords, I felt for you looking to the past in response to the, the way things have been rolling with this person, that you've been very worried about their lack of sacrifice to get on board with this particular idea of becoming pregnant. I think you've had a lot of questions around 
where the relationship is going. You know, the Page of Swords is a strong card for questioning things, for really analyzing, getting down into the into the small bits and pieces, into the detail. Um, I think you've been really looking at what that means in terms of the limitations of not getting to where you really want to be in terms of something that's very important to you with pregnancy. The hangman is definitely a card of sacrifice and limitation. I think you've, I think you've actually given them what they wanted. I think you've actually put the stops on things in a way where you've, you know, you've held off, you know, you've pulled back from this idea in a way where you've just um, tried to support them, tried to give them what they need. I think that you questioned it at the same time underneath in a way where you've really felt that perhaps there are concerns as to um, their response, their motivations, their planning, their, their inability really to get on board with this in a much more loving capacity that just is kind of, you know, again, very much in the moment. I wondered also whether at the same time, yeah, this is, I think this has had an impact on your health, definitely. Um, mental health, I would have said. I think this has really worried you, caused a lot of anxiety. I think you've found it very hard to let go of the fact that this is stopping you from achieving something that actually feels very right to you. Um, it's complex, you know, um, because this person is pushing against a grain for you, you know, and, and I feel that it's made you question at a much deeper level as to where the relationship is going, really. And, and if I come back over here to strengthen the Two of Pentacles, I think that you can see that whatever this person has been working, working towards in terms of financial security or some kind of basis of, of, of sort of like a supportive environment that actually is conducive to having a child, I think that you think, well, you know, like, why wouldn't you just do this now? Like, it's all, everything is in order. Everything you've been working towards is actually where it really needs to be right now. And if we go over to the future here with the Hermit and the Six of Wands, as an outcome for your partner, I really feel that this is something that's not going to let up. I feel that your partner will continue to bury their head in the sand, that they will not feel that they're in a secure place tomorrow, next month, in six months' time, or even a year's time, that... They'll continue to bury their head in the sand around certain issues that um, help them to avoid this idea of committing to having a child. I felt that what would come to light for you is just like a full realisation, really, that their actions speak louder than their words. Again, it's that yes and no thing. It's they, so like on the one hand, they're saying yes, and on, on the other hand, they're saying no. And that just continues on into the future in a way where this person just kind of avoids delivering you know on, on on such an important subject but at the same time what i don't see with them is that they don't really have a conversation that goes into the depths as to their reasoning as to why they're avoiding it they always have an excuse that there's something else that is preoccupying them or demanding of them or that requires their attention in a way that kicks this subject into the long grass i felt that they would almost be very stubborn and fixed by this, this, this tactic, if you want to call it that, um, that you would realize, in all honesty, that they need gentle guidance, that they need coaxing with love, that they need fundamentally and this is the bottom line okay is that fundamentally they need re reassurance with a direct experience of having a child this person is never going to be ready until they actually have a child in front of them and that then, once that child's actually put into their arms something's going to click in that will make sense for them because deep down you can see here with the hermit this person is deep down and 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 the six of wands this person is an incredibly giving person Everything that they're actually doing for the both of you is to work towards security and to give your lives an underpinning that really is um, bolstered in the most sturdy way so that you don't have to worry about things. 
And, and, and so I, I do feel that they're coming from the right place on one level, but that they are avoiding this subject in a way where it's reflective of something that's more about a fear of whether they actually have the ability to be able to parent a child. I think what's really interesting here in terms of an outcome, if we come down here to the magician and the four of wands, I, I feel like for yourself, I feel like you're going to take matters into your own hands. Okay. I feel that you will become pregnant in the next four to six months. And it's the realization in the coming weeks, maybe within the coming week or months, sorry, the coming weeks or the coming month, it's almost like, you know, like you, you need to make hay while the, while the sun shines. Like now is the time. You can see that here with strength and the two of pentacles. And we look further back to the past. I think the realization is, is that here, you've really questioned this idea of becoming pregnant. And I think you've thought already, perhaps the only way around this is to actually do something that is maybe without their permission or, you know, to fall pregnant in a way that is just like off script, off plan. Um, and then you're kind of sort of forced into a situation where you just have to kind of make it work. I feel that you realize everything is in place and that the time to strike everything into action is in the now and that you'll go for it. You know, that you're going to manifest something that's actually for the good of both of you. And that if anything, that your your ability to take control of this situation will help to put the relationship on track. And what I feel really amazing about this is that you can see here with the four of wands is that this brings everything to like a like a, a paralleled experience where there is this sort of full fruition or understanding of the most amazing potential to, to, to have a child, that it just, it, it, it kind of brings them into the spirit of, of the experience because they can no longer avoid it. They can no longer mask it. It's your ability to be able to feed into this person a more dynamic understanding and a direct experience of something that's actually really beautiful. And I felt that the balance would return to the relationship and the idea of you becoming pregnant or the reality of you becoming pregnant in Four months' time is when I feel this is going to happen. So in four months' time, you'll become pregnant. I felt that this would bring a balance to the relationship. It would parallel the both of you, that you would be put onto the same page in a way where, where you would work together. And that the pregnancy would actually be a mutual ex shared experience in, in every aspect. Yeah, A very treasured period of time, a very treasured experience in terms of reinstalling lightheartedness is what I feel. Yeah. And that this would actually build some kind of a momentum towards uh, a much fuller and, and more enriching life together. Yeah, it will coax this person out of their shell. I feel there is a, a reservedness, a shyness, perhaps a lack of confidence. Definitely. I feel that this is somebody who needs to be taken under the wing who needs to be shown the way, who needs to see the light through direct experience. If you leave it up to this person to make up their mind, to pull their head out of the sand and to make this happen, I think you'll be waiting for a very, very long time. And there's more, more than one way to, than, there's more than one way to, to skin a cat, yeah? Falling pregnant in a way that perhaps is not so much about having the permission to do it and actually just following something that is actually very natural in terms of a physical timeline towards getting that outcome is what this is all about. Look, I hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www tonyfoxtarot.com. Plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care.